Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be discussing the FX Confetti widget. This widget displays a falling confetti effect, and it's great for a celebratory or positive vibe. It could be used as a permanent background, or it can be triggered by a button. So you can use it for a hero background, a purchase button, form submission, anything you like. So let's go ahead and jump into the builder here and take a look at how to set this up. Here in the builder, we have our Poke restaurant theme. And down here in the second row, I wanna add that confetti widget. So we're gonna go and grab that widget and drop it right under the order takeout button. Now we see that that effect is immediately being applied to the background row. We can change this in the option panel by changing the apply to option. We can change that to the current row, the current column, the entire page or custom CSS selector. However, for this site, I would like the confetti to be triggered when you click a button. So just below that, we have our confetti trigger option. And in here, we can select a button. Now, right off the bat, we can see that now we have this button and we also have a new option, which is button label. I'm going to go ahead and rename this button order takeout. And then just to make sure that when we are demonstrating and testing this, it's not going to redirect us to a different page. I'm just going to link that to a PDF file. Now, taking a look at the button, we can see that it is grabbing our global button styling, so it looks pretty good. However, there are a few things we're going to need to tweak in the design section. So let's jump into the design tab of the widget. Now that we're in the design tab, let's go ahead and give that button a new width and height. We'll open up the button settings. We'll set the width to 300, and we'll set that height to 60. And now if we take a look, our new button is matching the original button perfectly. In the design tab, we have a few options here. Now let's go through them real quick. We'll start from the top and work our way down. We have the confetti amount. This sets the number of confetti elements that are used. Below that, we have animate confetti. This enables the falling movement of the confetti. When this option is disabled, the confetti will not move. Let's go ahead and test this. Currently it is enabled. We'll preview and click. We can see that that confetti is falling in the background. If we open this back up and we turn that off, re-preview, click, we can see that the confetti is there, but it is not animated, not moving. So that's what that option does. We'll turn that on for this demo. Below that, we have the animation speed. This sets the speed that the confetti falls. So for example, if I crank this all the way up to 97 and we preview this and I click, we can see that that confetti is falling much faster than it originally was. If we jump back into that design section, below the animation speed, we have the confetti size. This sets the size of the confetti elements. Below this, we have the confetti rotate. This enables a rotation of individual confetti elements as they fall. So if we enable this once again, we preview once again, and we click, we can see that that confetti is now rotating as it comes down. And let me just slow this down a bit so that we can see that in action a little bit better here. We can see now all that confetti is randomized and rotating as it comes down. Jumping back into the design tab, below that we have the start from edge option. This groups the confetti elements at the moment they begin to fall so that they all begin at the same place. So we can see how it's, how it's coming down right now. Let's enable this, preview, click, and now all the confetti is dropping all at once instead of randomized. Jumping back into that design tab, below that we have our confetti type. And this allows you to enable or disable individual confetti shapes, such as squares, triangles, lines, and circles. We have our confetti colors, and these allow you to enable up to four colors and select which colors are enabled or disabled. And that is going to do it for our FX confetti widget. It's a super simple widget to set up and use with some powerful and creative options. My name is Norman Durkee, and you have been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support. We're always here to help.